didn't say low battery. Oh, oh shit, Jamil. <laughs> hey, YouTube, it's Jamil and... Oh. And Luz. And so I've been looking up on YouTube, finding a lot of uh, reviews on different longboards. And I'm thinking, hey, I have a longboard. Why don't I make a review? My longboard is the Sector 9 Fractal Board. As you can see, it's been used quite a bit. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where the people are like, oh, I just got this two days ago, or I just got this a week ago, or I got this a month ago, and I love it. I've had this board for three months, so I can honestly tell you whether or not I love this board. I do love this board. It's really nice for cruising. The total length of it is 36 inches, and the width is nine. It sits roughly three inches off the ground. The flex is incredible. I bought mine at Zoomies at the mall for $200. It was free shipping at the, if you order inside the store. Um, roughly, this is, that's basically the price you'll pay for pretty much any longboard. There are some lower priced ones for 160, maybe 150 or so. Uh, if you pay anything, like if you pay $100 for a longboard, I personally think you're gonna get a $100 longboard. You're not gonna get high quality. I've been using this longboard for three months. I use it to get to work and home from work. It's about three miles from my job, from my home to my job. Um, my neighborhood is hilly, but the roads are very crappy. There's a lot of cracks and stuff, and this board actually gets through most of those cracks. Usually some of the places I have to like get off my longboard is usually if I'm going uh, over like thick sand. Sand has been piled on the side of the road, um, in which case the longboard would stop. But aside from that, this board gets me exactly where I want to go. I'm going to ride it. I'm not really sure what the design is. Uh, I think the artist's name is located uh, nowhere. But it's like a little wave thing, whatever. Um, you might be able to find a different design, same board, different design, but yeah, this is the one I got. Quite frankly, uh, if you're looking for a downhill board, this is not the choice you're looking for. This is a, I consider this more of a freestyle board. It kind of does let me do a little bit of everything. Uh, when I first got this board, or when I first got into longboarding, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I decided to go ahead and try out different types of boards. Um, I decided to try to go for the, for the free style one so I can figure out what I want to do. I realize the stuff I like to do, I love to cruise. I kind of want to slide, can't slide on these wheels. Uh, what's recommended uh, according to uh, Longboard UK, I'll put the link in the description. Um, ADA wheels are pretty grippy, anything lower than that, very grippy. Uh, 83A is soft and grippy, so or uh, slidey and grippy, so you can pretty much slide with those. Um, and then 86A, I believe, is uh, very slidey. So I might invest in one of those wheels for that. Um, another thing I really wanted to get into is uh, going down downhill. This board does wobble pretty fast. So you kind of have to carve to go down some pretty big hills and stuff. Um, you can't really shoot straight down without busting yourself like uh, I did. I wish I would should mention also. One of the things I didn't like about this board is the fact that it doesn't have a kick. It's, you know, kind of edging this up, but I mean, you can push it up, but it's not, there's no kicks on this board. Um, so I wasn't really able to do any of the, a lot of the dancing uh, tricks and stuff on longboard I can't really do. Um, it is a decent board. I do love it. Very good quality. It's lasted through a lot, a lot of stuff in three months, believe it or not. Um, board's all scratched up and stuff. I've taken this out on trips. I went 28 miles in this thing um, from Cheshire all the way to New Haven, which is... Yeah, a total of 28 miles, 14 miles both way, you know, each way. Um, yeah, if you're looking to get a long board, I would definitely recommend this board. This board is really good. Um, but if you're not really sure what you want to do, I would have to try... I hear a lot of people saying that pintails are really good for first beginner boards. Um, this board worked perfectly fine for me as a beginner board. I really have no regrets purchasing, you know, paying this money. I'm still going to be using this for a long time. Um, and yeah, that's my review on the fractal board so remember to subscribe okay subscribe comment like and yeah that's pretty much it subscribe and like
And if you have any questions, comment down below.